going on YouTube? This your boy, I am Core from the Accolades. So pretty much with this tutorial that I want to show y'all is pretty much on uh, using verifying Pro Tools and doing little, little chops and edits to kind of, you know, make the, the arrangement of the whole song like ride out or whatnot, you know, make it cooler. So I went live on Instagram, made this beat from scratch. I'm going to start going live on YouTube as well. I know a lot of y'all want to see that as well. But anyway, I went live, made the beat for Scratch and Logic, and I recorded a hook to the beat, you know, just so I can see what ideas to do to it or whatever. And I'm going to let y'all, you know, hear what I got so far, and then we just going to go through the whole verifying the chopping and editing of everything. Let's go. Yeah. L to the face, you know I'm about to blow it down, blow it down, blow it down Chillin' on top of clouds, smoke a lot, I ain't coming back down, coming down, coming down You ain't got your own, don't know why you even come around, come around I'm smoking this shit by the pound, by the pound Callin' this shit by the ground, by the ground, by the ground By the ground, by the ground By the ground, by the ground I ain't got you all right, you can come around Don't smoke this shit by the pound, by the pound, by the pound Alright, so there's, you know, the vocals or whatnot. So, the idea that I wanted to, you know, do, you know, I usually go through here, I play, play the beat, and I mute before I start verifying anything or figuring out what I want to chop up. So, let's see. Yeah! Take an L to the face, you know I'm about to blow it down, blow it down, blow it down Chillin' on top of clouds, smoke a lot, I ain't coming back down, coming down, coming down You ain't got your own, no, no way you can come around, come around I'm smoking this shit by the pound, by the pound Callin' this shit by the ground, by the ground, by the ground So, okay Let me try to get to this Callin' this shit by the ground, by the ground, by the ground Callin' this shit by the ground, by the ground, by the ground all right, so I'm gonna get uh, let's bring up verify. So verify is in pitch shift. So let's see what we want to chop it up. Telling this shit, Bobby Brown, Bobby Brown, Bobby Brown. Telling this shit, Bobby Brown, Bobby Brown, Bobby Brown. Alright, so what I'm going to do Oh, you see how I got that click at the end? We're gonna fix that. So, let me get my little groups together. I'm gonna name these. Hit Command G. I'm just gonna name this Edits. Just so I can easily fix this quickly. So, matter of fact, I want to slow down this. So, here with the hook. And uh, you see, I got slow down, select, I select my regions, hit render. Telling this shit, Bobby Brown, Bobby Brown, Bobby Brown. Telling this shit, Bobby Brown, Bobby Brown, Bobby Brown. Alright, then I kind of want the 808, so I'm going to uncheck that. I want the 808 and the kick to speed up. Kind of like right here. So, I'm going to 
this whole thing to speed up. So we're gonna do phone. Matter of fact, choose the edits. Hit B. And if B isn't working for you to like cut everything, make sure what is it called? The command focus, key focus, or something. I forgot what it's called right here, but make sure this is enabled. Alright, so I'm gonna speed up these regions. Yeah, also make sure I want the eight oh eight and the kick to like it's like a small little break right there. Let's see. Alright, so it's in the wrong place. But that's what happens. So you gotta you know play around with it. Yeah, we're gonna do it right here. Select all these, speed up. Alright, so no. Brown, Bobby Brown. This shit, Bobby Brown, Bobby Brown, Bobby Brown. This shit, Bobby Brown, Bobby Brown, Bobby Brown. Speed that up. This shit, Bobby Brown, Bobby Brown, Bobby Brown. Alright, so. I said that 808, the way it come back in right there, I want this to be muted. This shit, Bobby Brown, Bobby Brown, Bobby Brown. This shit, Bobby Brown, Bobby Brown, Bobby Brown. Bobby Brown. Well, let's hear it all together. Cover this shit by the pound, by the pound. Cover this shit, Bobby Brown, Bobby Brown, Bobby Brown. Bobby Brown, Bobby Brown. So it's just like all about being creative. So. I can leave those there alone, you know what I'm saying? So just in case I want to go back and do a change, I don't want to delete these. So now what I want to do is listen out for the little clicks and pops from the editing. So let's look. It's a click in here. What is that at the end of this 808 and kick? So to fix that, I already got my 808 and kick group, so I can click slip or I can hit F2, you know, on my keyboard. And then we're gonna use the fade tool. Right. So now it's a click in here at the beginning of these ones, of this region. So I'll do the same thing, fade into it. So that's what I want. So, oh, and the way I'm doing all these simultaneously, I got the uh, regions, I mean, the tracks themselves selected. You know, you can click on the first one, hold shift, click on the last one. If you want to group it, hit command G to group everything that you got selected and the way I'm moving them, you know, making them like wider or whatever, or larger, I'm holding shift and option. I click here in the middle and hold my left click button down and hold shift and option. And then adjust. So let's hear it again. Oh, 
know why you even come around, come around I'm smoking this shit by the pound, by the pound Calling this shit Bobby Brown, Bobby Brown, Bobby Brown Bobby Brown, Bobby Brown That's pretty much it. What I would do, I would just go through, you know, and just figure out what sounds right with the whole beat, you know, and with, with a hook. That's why I usually do a hook before an artist gets it. You know, if I sell it on SoundClip, my flash store or whatnot, I'd rather do a hook to it so I know. It gives me an idea how I want to chop up the beat, you know. So, and that's about it. If y'all have any questions... Feel free to ask me and I'll let y'all know, you know, uh, help, you know, you know, do like a little one-on-one -on -one thing to help y'all out. If y'all have any issues with doing this in Pro Tools and Logic, if you use Logic for you Logic users, they don't have verified. But what you can do in Logic is you can fade the ends of the regions. Right? You should know how to do it. If you don't, let me know. I'll probably do a tutorial on that. And when you fade, whatever you fade, whatever region you fade, you can right click on the fade and select slow down and it will give you that slow down effect. And then that's if it's at the end of the region. If it's at the beginning of the region and you got a fade going into the beginning of the region, you can right click on that and you should be able to select speed up. So I said, if you need uh, help with that, just let me know and I do that as well. Besides that, I appreciate y'all. You know, I hope I helped some, somebody out with this and, uh, Peace out. Bow.